In a day where we were all expecting an XRP settlement, we may have got something just as good. Some huge announcements for some upgrades coming to XRP Ledger. And more importantly, a big price movement driven by some significant volume. What's been going on? Who's buying XRP? We're going to talk about it all in this video. So as always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. So as always, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at the overall market. 2.35 trillion, a pretty volatile day in Bitcoin, topping over 65.5K, retracing all the way back down to 63,000. We can see that down about 0.29% with $73 billion worth of volume. So pretty standard uh, bank holiday for us here in the UK. However, XRP did book the trend. You can see their volume around 1.7 billion, so a significant jump. We're normally around 1.6. 1.7 on a Monday, 2.97% up on the price, holding 54 cents. Now, the interesting thing with the price, however, is we actually saw a 57 cent XRP as people got excited about a potential settlement. Now, I talked about it this morning. I talked about it yesterday in that ultimately it's now post the deadline date. It's past the date everyone expected us to get that settlement agreement. Remember, two outcomes it's going to be up and in around the 1.95 billion if SEC get their way, under 10 million if Ripple get their way. So it's going to be a very interesting dynamic now. If you've been following the market, you already know that the SEC have gone after, you guessed it, Robin Hood. So they decided that they haven't got enough on their plate, not with the Coinbase, XRP and many others. They now decided to go after Robin Hood, which for me just absolutely cements Gary Gensler and what they're trying to do, which is just completely suppress, if not destroy the cryptocurrency market in the US. This is the crazy thing. It's much bigger than that. And again, Ripple already know that. They're absolutely positioning themselves to be that big fundamental player in cross-border payments, as well as ensuring that they have the scalability when it comes to in-house products, namely the XRPL. Now, if you remember, cast your minds back. I've been talking about XRP Ledger. Before anyone else, I've been saying how big this is going to be, how much it's going to be a pivotal part of XRP. Well, it's just got that little bit bigger. There is a ton of upgrades coming, of which we're going to talk a little bit about now. So digital identity, the mechanism for users to control their digital identities within the ecosystem. Sounds a little bit like Jasmine. Reusable KYC process, as well as compliance-focused permission to decentralize exchanges and streamline regulatory process, all of which is something that the SEC is demanding at once from the cryptocurrency space. The X-Chain Bridge that's also up for um, voting, ultimately compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine, enabling asset transfers between XRPL and independent sidechains. It also would facilitate seamless exchanges of XRP and the potential of tokenized assets. If you know anything about Ethereum, the fact that EVM is ultimately how you create ERC-20 tokens and build upon that chain. Again, enhancing the ledger's utility for that cross multi-chain ecosystem. Price oracles. Now, this one's a little bit more interesting, particularly when you align it to the automated market, the maker that we had on there, and ultimately kind of the second version of that coming. Price and accuracy, reduced slippage, and ultimately the operation of decentralized applications being much more easy to do with these price oracles. You're also going to get things like PayChain, which is ultimately seeks to extend existing functionalities, dynamic NFTs, XRP plugins, hooks and much much more these are huge developments for xrpl brings it in my opinion into this whole rwa deep in asset class that we're seeing such a big move on in 2024 for me it makes the xrpl one of the best chains to have particularly when you start talking about financial institutions whether that be pensions whether that be regulatory banks or even things like sovereign wealth funds which we talked about when it comes to bitcoin this could be something that is used on the xrpl how to transfer huge amounts of money safely securely and don't forget and we've talked about this previously with the ability to recall transactions that's why you're seeing brad out there getting ultimately lots of airtime. this was the vegas event in which xrp and ripple was all there talking about what was going on very interesting lots of good stuff not as much alpha as maybe we'd have liked but certainly david schwartz was there talking about the stable coin coming to xrpl and much much more so yes we didn't get the settlement that we were expecting we didn't kind of get that ultimate excitement that we want, but it is going to come. Now, whether it goes to the, our side or whether it goes to the SEC side, 
Who knows? I think it's interesting that we see the SEC continuing to go after more and more cryptocurrency adoption companies and hopefully losing. I, I always have stunned by the point that I think Ripple will win this case and I think XRP will then move on. Do I think there'll be a monetary fine attached to it? 100% because it's the SEC. But if that means we can just get on with advancing this space and enhancing XRP and ultimately getting it to the value that it's worth, then for me, it's a good trade indeed. So what is going on with the price right now? Well, you can see this wick that we had all the way up testing the 200 exponential moving average at that 57 cent range, but was rejected. You will notice though on the chart, and I talked a little bit about this on my live stream, is that we've now flipped this 5227 line. We had this as a resistance line, is now flipped to become a support line, which is very good news. What we might start to do is see this become the next uh, resistance at 55.76, maybe slightly higher at this 50-day exponential moving average around 57.58. So look, it's a good step up. It's a good step in the right direction. MACD, however, is also looking pretty good as well. So we've got lots of catalysts pointing in the right direction of XRP moving. We simply need that settlement case and it'd be under $10 million. And I think XRP is very much poised to be a big player in 2024. As ever, I always want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments, or if you don't have any questions, or you don't have an opinion, just drop an X down there so I know you're part of the XRP army. Also, if you want to buy XRP, trade futures on it, do check out some of the links in the description. We've got one down there for BitGet and Mexi, offering fantastic deposit bonuses if you sign up with our links. And hey, come and join the project I'm launching if you want to be part of something incredibly special. Link down there to our Telegram. Get on over, see what's going on. We're not launching yet. We're a couple of months away, but it'd be exciting to have you with us. As always, don't forget the like and subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.